Do you want to learn how AI created a stunning text to image video? Then stick around to the end. Hey guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula. If you're a Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Alright guys, let's go check it out. Here we are at a place called Runway ML. Now Runway ML has been around for a while, but they've really upped their game in what they've actually done now. There's so much more they do than just video editing. Back when they first started, it was just AI video editing. Now they've really taken off and gotten into the AI section of it. And it's so much better than it ever used to be. So if you have a look through here, you can actually see you've got here, Gem 1, the next step forward for generative AI. You've got high resolution image synthesis. And you also have the Gen 2 out there as well now. And you can sign up to this for free. If you can see here, it says sign up for free now. Of course, there are pricings, so they, they are a business and they do want to be able to make money. So let's go and have a quick look at the pricing. Now the pricing, you got your basic for free, which gives you 125 credits. And you can't buy more credits, unfortunately, but you can't upscale resolution or remove the watermark. Now what happens is the watermark is actually three moving colored dots that are on the right hand bottom corner of the screen. And that's an indicator that's part of the free one that you've just received. Now I had that covered up with my image earlier, but it was there because I'm currently on the free version. If you want to go to the paid version, it's $144 a year and you get 625 credits per month. Now this one here is just straight up 125 credits, nothing else. Over here you get 625 credits per month. Now if you create several videos, you can actually butt them up together to create something pretty epic. You obviously have the upscale resolution and it removes the watermark. You've also got the generation one video to video up to 15 seconds, generation two text to video up to 16 seconds. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. But usually what happens is it does it four seconds at a time and you can add an extra four seconds to it as you go if you want to be able to expand on it. But I would highly suggest you don't do that because it does some pretty funky things. And we'll have a look at that in just a moment. Now here we are in Runway ML. Now I'll leave a link for this in the description box. It won't be an affiliate link, but yeah, definitely check it out. Now go down here and you've got here the text to image to video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and you can go through all this if you wish to. I'm going to choose to skip it. You've got an image that you can actually download an image and have it animate the image that you've already got. Or you can do just straight text and allow it to create a video for you doing that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight to text and we're going to create our video using that. It's only going to be four seconds. So I'm just going to put some text just here and we'll have a quick look at what it can do for you. Now what it says is an army of human looking androids marching towards a castle on a hill to raid it. Now let's go here and we'll go generate and see what it comes up with. Now this could give me some rubbish or it could give me something good. Now as you can see there are 105 seconds left of AI generation, so let's click on that and we'll see what happens. And that should only give us four seconds worth of video, and you'll see it'll actually remove four seconds off this here. Now I'm going to pause the video till this is finished. Okay, so this is looking like what we're going to be coming up with. It looks like we have some Android, it looks like Android's there, I think. And we can just hit play and see what it's like. Well, it's just panning the screen, that's not good. So I'm going to pause this and we're going to rewrite it a little bit. An army of humans looking androids marching forward. An army of human looking androids marching towards a castle on a hill to raid it. Now these all look like knights rather than androids. Let's make them, uh, yeah, human looking, we've got that. Make the androids human looking. Okay, now all we have to do is hit generate and see what it comes up with. Now once again, I will pause the video until it's finished. Okay, this doesn't look like it's got any, oh hang on, it does, it's got it really dark. And all it's doing is marching. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna try a different text altogether. I'm going to try something else and see what else it comes up with. So I'm going to remove all that because that one obviously didn't work. So let's try this. A full body human looking android facing a camera. There is a medieval castle seen in the hill on the hills in the background. The human looking android quickly turns and looks at the castle. There we go. We just go click on that and we'll see what it does. Okay, let's have a look at what it does here. It's looking, it looks like an android that's looking around and it appears to have some writing down here too. Okay, so the writing is obviously a watermark to avoid you having to do it without the watermark. Okay, so let's go try again. We can regenerate that again. That's pretty good, but I don't see a castle on the hill. So let's try that again. 
Okay, so this is looking probably closer to what we want to do. So hopefully it will turn its head and look at the castle. We'll find out in just a moment. Not quite. It's looking directly at it, but it is looking around. So that's okay. That's not too bad. Now, if you want to, you can extend it for four seconds. Now, let's go and have a look at what that's like. Well, it just extends for four more seconds. And then after that, I'm going to go over here and we'll upload an image. And we'll show you what it's like when we just upload an image. So right now, it's extending it. And we're just going to, once again, pause the video till it's finished. Oh, one other point, too, is if you have a look over here, the free preview, which is basically just a series of images put together, the free preview is disabled right now because of wait time. But due to increased demand and wait time, free previews are temporarily unavailable. Please try again later. It's been like that all day, so I would assume it's been like it's going to be like that for a while. Okay, so now this is going to go for eight seconds, and we'll watch and see what it does. It should do. It'll probably do something pretty funky. So let's have a look at this. That's all right. Better than the last time I did it. That's way much, but that's a lot better than I did last time. Looking around. No, that's good. That's actually pretty good. As I said, way better than the last one I did. The one I did previously on another account. I um, did it and it completely changed the look of its face and completely changed the type of robot it was, which was kind of funky. But that's okay. Now let's have a look at the images. And I'm going to upload an image that I had created in Mid Journey. So I'm just going to be back in a moment. You just have to click on this one here. And then we can drag and drop an image just there. I'll be right back. Okay, so all I have to do is drag the image just over here, pop it into here, and in just a moment it will generate the image and also it will generate the video as well. So we'll be back in a moment. So let's finish that. Okay, so it doesn't give you an option to be able to change the image by writing a description, but let's just hit generate and see what it comes up with. Okay, so let's have a look at what it does. And with just the straight image itself. This is one I created on Mid Journey earlier. So let's have a quick look. That's pretty nice. Clouds are racing, racing through, which is pretty nice. All right, so let's go and have a look at image and description. So we need to upload that image again, and we'll do that just in this section just here. It looks like it's keeping the image right there for me, so I don't need to change that. Delete that. The robot looks around at the castle. I don't know if it's going to be able to do that. So I found it does seem to have quite a few limitations, but we'll have a quick look and see what it's like. Once again, I will pause the video till it has finished. Okay, now let's go and have a look and see what it's actually going to do. Oh, there we go. It changed the look of the robot, but it did make it turn around and look at the castle, which is fantastic. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, I'm so happy that this has worked out today because when I previously did it, it didn't work out so well. So, so this is runwayml.com and I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. All right, guys. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, happy you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Runway ML. Now also to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.